This is a dance about the journey of a princess who gets lost in the woods. It's one of the most popular native dances in the Philippines. The New Brunswick Filipino group performed the dance called Sing Kill during the gala night of the Asian Heritage Month. The Philippines has a very, very diverse culture. This is just one of the many variety of cultures that we have. It basically represents the royal royalties of the northern part rather southern part of the Philippines, you know, how they live. It's, it's actually, we have a lot of legends, a lot of tales to tell. When they come to this kind of events, they, they felt at home. It's like coming home and seeing Filipinos, uh, the other uh, Asian countries represented. The event marked the culmination of the Asian Heritage Month. It was held at the Center for Communitaire St. Anne. It was a celebration of diversity, a showcase of talents, and different cultures. The Indian community presented this folk dance called Garba. And the Chinese Cultural Association did a ribbon dance. The Japanese community depicts a fisherman's movements in this dance. Immigration is the key for any province in Canada to increase its prosperity. Senator Vivian Poi was instrumental in having markets, May officially recognized as Asian Heritage Month in Canada. In December 2001, the Senate of Canada officially recognized May as Asian Heritage Month. Poi stresses the importance of the celebration. How can Fredericton attract new immigrants? The most important thing it can do is to make immigrants feel at home. Part of laying out the welcome mat is supporting Asian Heritage Month's activities. But celebrating Asian Heritage Month isn't just about attracting new people to the province. It is also about making those of Asian heritage who have been here for a long time feel that their contributions to the province and to the Maritimes are recognized. I've been in Fredericton and Canada for five and a half years now. Renu Diogude is a member of the Association of Indo-Canadians. She is also a New Brunswick immigration officer. She says events like this help immigrants adjust to their new environment. I think when somebody is immigrating, it's important for them to know that they have more people from their own cultures in that city or in that place. It is important. Uh, I work with the Population Growth Secretariat as an immigration officer. And uh, I think it's really important that people know that they can, you know, when participate in programs and different activities from their own cultures when they're abroad. So I used to travel so much, but now I'm not traveling that often. Okay. Angie Lee is an immigrant from Korea. First of all, it's really she says these celebrations help immigrants widen their network. First of all, it's really important because a lot of people get together and, you know, get together and they get to know each other and uh, always it's better to have more than you know a few because we can we can have more networking here and also it's it's really good to have understanding of different cultures while the month-long celebration has ended newcomers from Asia are just beginning to appreciate the beauty of diversity in a new place they now call their home with vibrant song and dance, the annual Asian Heritage Month celebration brought all the flavors of the Far East here to Fredericton. But it did so much more, celebrating the blooming diversity here and across the country. In Fredericton for First Local, I'm Kyle Mullen.